Okay, this is a dial gauge test. I've been trying to level the bed with some nuts and bolts. And um, Okay, so that's at position zero. I'm going to send it to the back, which is why 180 millimetres. It's not bad, but you saw it moving near the black markers on the top of the dial gauge here and here. Well, that's 0.1 of a millimetre each side. So the surface of this piece of white melamine isn't actually flat, that's the problem. Uh, let's go to X180. Ooh, it's quite far out that one actually. X naught. So that's not too bad. I've got to do the front right corner. It's a bit of an iterative process every time you fiddle about with one of them it seems to affect the other ones. But that's not all that surprising. I'm going to need a flatter bed if I'm going to mill PCBs uh, on it. But uh, that's work in progress. And the other thing is, at the back there, I've added these uh, brackets across here to stiffen it up a bit. Because um, it was flexing a bit. I've got it on all this foam white foam rubbery stuff to um, isolate it from the table so it doesn't make quite such a racket and upset the neighbours um, and um, when I lifted it up by the front here I wonder if I can do it you see the dial gauge moving so the whole thing that's moving by uh, 0.05 of a millimetre that's 50 microns flex in the frame well it was going about 150 so this these brackets have stiffened it up quite a lot. Um, and the other thing to mention is I've been using this stuff on the screws, uh, on the lead screws back here. These jobbies uh, and it seems to have quietened things down. And that's my dial gauge holder which was absolutely rubbish because it couldn't hold the dial gauge without wobbling. And so I've ended up using that piece of uh, <laughs> metal which is uh, something that I got from I think it was tool station or somewhere like that and it's meant to be for holding joists uh, together when you're doing work on your on the fabric of your house so um, there you go that's a day that's the CNC machine today um, it's getting there I'm going to get a piece of m machined metal which is flat to within a few microns um, surface or at least you know within 50 micron or something like that uh, flat so that I can uh, mill PCBs on it and that will be one of the next jobs so there you go